guys, Joe here from Xbox Games. Check it out, we got JSPDs. This is their Soda Max. Basically uses a soda bottle for air and shoots it out with an inline clip, which is kind of neat. Now, I preferred this thing probably like two months ago, and this is not my first JSPB product. We do have, I believe it's called the Ninja here, the Cyber Ninja. To be honest, I could never get that thing to work right. It broke, and it was just very complicated to get the thing to working together. And I was hoping this thing was gonna be a little bit different. And now, this video, I just wanna go over kind of the assembly and just overall what I think of this thing. And we will do a shooting video and things like that later once I can figure out the kinks because out of both of mine, I have not been able to get them to shoot. Now, one of the things that I always say is, you know what, JSPB did a very good job here with the uh, instruction manual. This this is great, right? I mean, it goes over a ton of stuff. There's a lot of addendums and things like that in here. Um, for the most part, I was like, okay, this thing should take not too long, right? But there's a few things that you are gonna notice right out of the gate. So first things first, you guys, when you're putting this thing together, um, some of these measurements and things in here are not correct. Well, some of them are correct, but then other ones are not correct. It's like nine centimeter, and that's incorrect, but it's really close to more like 9.6. So, you know, if you're following this, oh man, just make sure you put this thing together just a rough fit first. Don't follow the manual and glue everything together because if you glue something in the wrong spot, you're pretty much done. Here is a key tip, you guys. Um, there is basically gonna be four huge or four larger acrylic tubes. This one you can't deny, right? This is the larger one for this. It's a little bit smaller, but there are three that are very similar. This one here, this one here, and this one here. This down here is gonna be the longest of them all right, of the standard size. Then you got the grip, which is the middle, and then the small one here. If you remember that, everything else should be pretty straightforward. Um, for me, when you look inside there, it was saying, oh, it's nine mil, it's nine centimeters, and I'm like, well, it's closer to that than this. So I almost put this here, which completely would have been wrong if I would have followed the manual, because it's like, hey, go ahead and sand it, glue it. So I kind of looked at, you know, overall what it looked like, and I was like, wait a second, that can't be possibly right. So that's why I say follow this to, not to an exact T because look at that, clear nine centimeter, yeah. Um, just follow it close enough and just kind of roughly put it together because you should be able to pump this thing and get a little bit of air in there and see if it's going and kind of see if the air comes out. Um, one of the bottles too is I like using this bottle. I think they recommend a, a larger bottle if you need be, but this for me gave me some issues. One of the things that I also noticed with this is this back piece down here really needs to be redesigned. It completely needs to be redesigned. Mine broke, I mean, look at this. I gotta super glue this thing back together. You can see that. You're supposed to clip this around the neck, which that is not that great. Also, my 3D print they printed, it was not all that great. I mean, I could see individual like under extrusion all through here. And then this, you know, just kind of snapped off. So I'm gonna re-glue that, but Putting it together, um, if you rough do it, shouldn't be too bad. I still have yet to get either of mine to work. I can get it to where this actually, you know, pumps up with air, but for some reason, the air that's released in here, it just doesn't want to go. It just doesn't want to shoot anything. And I was super excited for this. Um, so I'm going to make sure I sand everything on, you know, my models and go. I do love the idea of being able to put some, so you know, put some air in this and being able to shoot with this little thing. Uh, some people were like, well, how do you load the thing? Well, you gotta uh, tear off the front, load it in the front, and then put this, oh uh, my gosh, back on. And you know, when you look at this, it definitely looks a lot different in the front than some of this here. So just note that mine, yeah, this will not go all the way back through both O-rings. It should go through one, but there is double O-rings in here where I was like, okay, is something wrong with the front of this? But no, that's how it's supposed to be. You could essentially push it and hold it like this when you shoot, but no, you could push it down here and kind of let it sit in that little seat. But overall, I think it's neat. It's just, there are a few things that definitely need to be revamped, especially this back piece right here. I mean, once this breaks, again, I gotta, I gotta super glue that because that is not gonna, that's not gonna be nice. Um, but I think it's cool. I just wanted to give everybody a heads up what this thing looks like in real life because I don't think I've seen any YouTube videos on this thing yet about what it looks like or the assembly. Just remember, everything comes disassembled. There is a piece here that's kind of like a top of a thing or a bag you gotta put, which anybody can find that is not included in it. But overall, all the pieces kind of fit together well. It's just I cannot get either of mine 
to work well. And I do see a little bit of under extrusion, especially for how much I paid for this, especially around all around these parts where it kind of scares me because these parts should be clamping down and it's probably gonna end up breaking like that. But again, this is just a quick video to show you guys what this thing looks like in person. Hopefully once I get whatever is wrong with these things in place, um, maybe I'll go back through and just double check everything. But yeah, something is definitely wrong with both of mine. And I followed the thing to AT and I could not find anything out there, which you know made, showed me how this thing actually works. Uh, anyways, let me know what you guys think or if you guys have links to people actually using this thing. Maybe there should be one in the future, but I haven't seen a video out there as of yet. But let me know what you guys think. Thanks again, Fox fans.